okay no problem okay sir thank you uh, so sir the recording has begun uh, i would like to ask you that uh, can you tell a bit about yourself and walk us through your journey actually my name is javed ahmed tak and i am from jammu and kashmir my uh, place of birth is bijbehara bijbehara is a town where um, you can you, which is very much popular about the mm-hmm. old chinar trees and oldest of the chinar trees here and uh, our town is very much popular about the educational activities since since the gurukuls were Uh, present in the era of India, the, we, this place has been where Gurukul was. Gurukul was also present, and Shisha Guru uh, relationship was very high, and uh, educational activities were there. My uh, journey started from here, and I uh, I have uh, got got birth from here. This place in nineteen seventy four. Almost forty-seven years back, and uh, my uh, early education happened here in Bijbara up to the class eighth, and thereafter I uh, had completed my education from the Anantrag, which is our uh, district headquarter, and thereafter I was uh, seeking education in the local degree college, where from I was pursuing B.Sc. and uh, unfortunately in 1997 i w- i had completed my almost my de- uh, degree of psc but an incident happened i got a bullet in spine in kashmir conflict my uh, cousin was a uh, affiliated to uh, a political party some veiled person came and tried to kidnap him and i was there with him there was a kind of a scuffle for some minutes and uh, they fired in- indiscriminately and i got a blood in spine so oh. after that i came to the wheelchair and my life started on the wheelchair but uh, before uh, starting my life in the wheelchair i had to live in the hospital for one year and for about 2 years i was at home completely bedridden so uh, i started my another tenor of life by providing free tuitions to the children uh, it these were the general children uh, who were not in a position to afford the education because uh, when i uh, was bedridden for 2 3 years in, Uh, including the hospital time i wrote to the concerned doctor and he uh, asked me, told me that uh, you are not able to walk because spinal cord injury is not curable it is a very uh, severe type of damage in uh, spinal cord and uh, you cannot walk until some treatment is available because treatment was uh, is not still available for the spinal cord injury and a person loses sensation in, in legs almost from the spot where it da- it is damaged towards the um, uh, feet we don't have sensation so uh, because of loss of sensation i couldn't walk and um, doctors told me to do some uh, type of table work Uh, so that i can get rehabilitated and um, it was a new experience for me to after 20 years of age i have to start my second tenure on the wheelchair and after realizing the uh, kind of disability in me i got the idea that i have been giving education to various children with disabilities but the children um, to the general children and children with disabilities are not coming so why what should be their fate are they also going to school earlier i was not thinking of that but realizing my own disability seeing the challenges realizing the kind of uh, dysfunctioning and uh, dependent life i started hunting for those children and um, after 4 uh, 5 years of my disability 
some uh, children uh, who were getting education from me they were now going to college they helped me for uh, conducting a search and we got a kind of glimpse that almost children with disabilities were uh, dropped out from the schools uh, some few a handful of were in the schools but they were not getting the inclusive education they were just visitors to school the children having the uh, communication disability like uh, hearing and speech disability they completely were uh, not uh, included in the educational processes hence uh, uh, i started uh, an initiative how to give children uh, education to children with disabilities although we um, as a group uh, went to the educational department a local chief education officer office uh, but we got the same uh, reply that uh, we don't have the proper infrastructure we don't have the train trained manpower that is why the children with disabilities get dropped out so uh, from our searches we had identified around 36 children in seven eight villages and all of them were in a very miserable conditions and though, uh, they were very um, enthusiastic few of them were very re uh, showing readiness to go to school uh, but due to the um, non availability of proper infrastructure special yeah. educators teaching learning material they were not included in the school thus uh, i shared my idea with my um, group that let us start educational activities for them let we see if they can read and write and uh, we started a center with four children two of the girls were blind completely blind who were dropped out and we started the center without having resources so uh, for uh, rehabilitation of person with disability due to this militancy or conflict we get some money ex excretion relief from the government 75000 to the permanent disability mm, that was on the scale and i too had got it but i was denying that resource and i was telling them that i my parents has spent more than 5 10 lakhs on my surgeries and other rehabilitation services so i should get a at least a job for my mm, one of the family members so that we can get economic rehabilitation but government had no policy and i even went to the state human rights commission uh, national human rights commission but my case was not given such a kind of uh, attention because it was all i was writing letters to them i was not personally okay. visiting uh, there i was not in a position to do that finally i um, got that chat and i after 5 6 years and i uh, deposited it in my bank account and i started this activity of giving education to children with disabilities because i do, didn't have other means of source at that time so 75000 was with me and i gave i commit did a commitment with a special educator that I, we will give you 3000 rupees per month uh, so that uh at least we can start somewhere and we will see what can happen and we did it for uh, almost one year and after that it was uh, rent that we were paying for the room um and uh, apart from the uh, special educator we hired a general edu general line education teacher a special uh, this uh, social worker and two caretakers plus room and uh, four five children uh, start coming and after that um, we uh, wrote to the concerned dc that we need a vehicle and they did not provide us a vehicle but um, they said you should go for some other uh, institutions or other ngos those who can help you so we uh, uh, wrote to that cry child rights and you organization and uh, mm -hmm. after 6 7 months they replied that <clears throat> their team is coming to join k and they shall see what is happening in, in the center so they came and they saw uh, we were uh, doing a little bit and they agreed that the initiative is uh, seemingly very good and um, you are having the best motivation towards education of children with disabilities and they uh, said you hire a um, 
rent uh, house on rent uh, in which you can uh, increase these activities mm. and after that um, they uh, um, asked us to make a concrete proposal what you want to do and we made a proposal of uh, for the education of these 30 children who were ready to come to the uh, school and uh, they agreed for uh, fuel of the vehicles which will be hired plus uh, rent of the house and uh, um, this remuneration for uh, special educators and we employed some six special educators plus some general line teachers music teacher physiotherapy teachers um, instructors and uh, finally we started this initiative in 2008 Uh, as formal school for children with disabilities that was is registered with the education department also with the help of those children whom we uh, got in our school we started uh, training of the teachers in, uh, in government schools also and with the education department we conducted around 200 trainings so that teachers also got a kind of sensitization how children with disabilities um, can be educated and given learn and they can be included in the learning teaching process and um, after that um, we wrote to the um, then uh, navy chief it was suresh mehta who agreed and who who um, uh, gave us a vehicle uh, uh, donated as a marwati ambulance van and we started bringing children and after uh, two years of time around 50 children uh, started coming regularly then jk police also gave us a second hand vehicle and we utilized their services cry gave us uh, around seven years of uh, funding Uh, up to 2013 uh, they worked with us and um, uh, our school uh, got a uh, lot of admissions and uh, children with disabilities got uh, a good kind of uh, uh, platform to continue with their education and presently we have 120 children enrolled in the school and uh, around 40 children have passed out with good qualifications uh, our school is uh, registered up to the 8th class under the name zeba pain shoot of inclusive education and um, the uh, those students who got admission at uh, first instance they ha- are in the college level uh, the, under the delhi university college to uh, students are uh, pursuing master a uh, bachelor's in uh, on bachelor's program under under honors system in english and political science and um, uh, children having speech and hearing disability who are completely uh, in the homes now are in 12th class 8th class 9th class 10th class and children with mental disabilities some were in need of minor intervention and they uh, got a lot of uh, in trainings and um, sensory integration physiotherapy um, and other uh, sort of trainings now uh, they too are very much independent and uh, so, uh, a lot of children have come past uh, class 8 9 10 12th examinations and earlier those parents who were having confusion and um, disinterest in investing in the children uh, facing the disabilities now they uh, provide them good assistance and uh, they try to rehabilitate their children educationally socially economically uh, this is the current situation what i am telling about the uh, almost about Uh, 12 13 years of time okay sir so uh, so uh, the next question is what difficulties did you face on societal level after uh, having that disability 
so were, were there any difficulties that you started facing after that personally uh, personally uh, i didn't get uh, this kind of difficulty personally i w- i was not looking what society is telling about it or about my life but there is less acceptance in the society towards the person with disabilities overall situation is that um, person with disabilities are not accepted they are not given the kind of environment in the um, marketplace in the recreational place uh, at the place of public importance uh, there are uh, no, no inclusive features available at any level of the uh, society and uh, in terms of this uh, starting the this initiative a lot of children with disabilities who the parents of these children were not uh, allowing us to uh, uh, include these children in the yeah. learning uh, teaching process because they uh, were underestimating them they felt that they will never get education they are not they are incapable they cannot um, do well in the studies uh, but uh, today the their mindset has changed there were uh, hurdles that uh, people were not giving uh, their uh, houses on the rent for this purpose mm. uh, some were saying that uh, our houses will get damaged they were thinking that there is only vulgarity or the harsh behavior with the person with disabilities but today when they see um, our bus is going uh, to different places with these children uh, a lot of people uh, help us they donate for our initiative and a um, lot of people appreciate us that yes your decision was very right you took the children who were begging at the street lights and now they are seeking education and they have uh, developed a lot so this type of uh, things happen and um, at the first instance when we were in need of the resource people were not interested in that kind of uh, uh, helping uh, our initiative uh, but after 20 years uh, there is a lot of change there is uh, people are helping now people are giving uh, too much respect and um, uh, even some refer even they don't have their own children but they refer other mm. people to let to take your children to zeba by nature yes so now so so the people are now acknowledging your work yes yes what yes. you are and so that's but really it, nice uh, it took to a lot of yeah, time yeah. but finally they agree and yeah. in addition to that we uh, didn't um, work only for the rehabilitation of the children uh, we always try to uh, do advocacy uh, through our uh, institution through our organization we started advocacy at the state level and uh, uh, advocacy for complete education employment rehabilitation because we always think that only one institute at one place cannot cater the needs of uh, the children with disabilities at large at the state level at a uh, area level so we uh, always think that government network is very uh have mm, very much larger and if the government takes such initiatives if they replicate our mm, thoughts and they mm, give the platform to children with disabilities at, in every district in every uh, uh, village then um, the things will be uh, very much better because mm. lot of people will be um, ca- uh, covered under that scheme Uh, not even education, but accessibility is an issue in J and K. Uh, employment was not earlier given, but uh, after uh, filing PILs in J and K High Court, after doing a lot of meetings with the stakeholders, after uh, doing the community awareness, uh, mobilizing the person with disabilities at university levels. at the higher secondary levels at school levels and thereafter protesting at certain times um, and celebrating the world disability day organizing uh, the uh, various public awareness programs on braille day on uh, mental health issues 
uh, on autism day uh, hemophilia day and um, larger uh, society has now generated awareness about these things and uh, government is also uh, forced to do something or notify various uh, circulars about the accessibility about the uh, education and employment of the person with disabilities uh, but still a lot needs to be done so that uh, a person with disability finds uh, empowerment at social economic and and the overall development yeah. of uh, the person with disability should happen um, it will take some more time and uh, we need lot of people to join this uh, movement yes. so that uh, stakeholders can find out that yes there are the people uh, who need uh, to give rights in light of the rights of person with disabilities act in light of the uncrp which has been ratified by our country so um, these things need to be um, people should be well aware of that and stakeholders should uh, get sensitive about these sure. things then only we can find a solution so in future this will happen for sure yes yes we yes. are on it uh, till uh, uh, we exist on this earth we have to do it yes. and we have to mobilize people we have to so rely on efforts are going to shine for sure yes yes efforts are in a full swing and efforts are going on but in jnk we have uh, a lot of uh, things which um, the challenges are very high one is one was the conflict second is the harsh climatic conditions for a um, four or five months we are in the winter phase and uh, snow is there uh, inaccessibility is because of the environmental features climatic conditions and um, covid has added to it yeah, yeah. a lot of uh, things uh, and hilly it is a very hilitarian and accessibility is a greater issue uh, for all of us and uh, but still whatever um, new comes uh, we always try to implement it just like the prime minister of india on uh, 3rd december 2015 uh, inaugurated the accessible india campaign and under that a number of buildings um, uh, almost 25 buildings in jammu and 25 buildings in G kashmir uh, have been identified which are very old buildings mm -hmm. but uh, government uh, activities uh, through various departments are running in these buildings it is uh, government is functional in these buildings and they have been identified for creating accessibility uh, and the our access audit was done by uh, an organization from orissa swabiman and we um, gave them unconditional support while they visited for the access audit so that uh, the mm, the factor was that we were trying to facilitate everyone here uh, to support their disability rights when they came here they uh, were not knowing how to go and visit these buildings how to start repo building with the um, stakeholders and we uh, Uh, supported them unconditionally we went with them etc what happened and we hope that the money that has uh, come for that creating accessibility features in these buildings uh, will be utilized and accessibility will start for the person with disabilities old buildings and all the new buildings that are under construction they to have these features we are uh, fully in contact with the stakeholders regarding that okay sir uh sir so i would like to ask you what what what's your super power to achieve this success so all all this hard work and all so what's the super power that drives you to do all this the super power is my own disability every time we find that disability is some what a challenge or it is a kind of inability or it is a weakness but uh, i think that uh, disability is a strength and we should utilize it uh, 
and we should see how we, we can overcome all these challenges while facing this challenge and um, uh, when i uh, saw my own disability and when i saw the person disabilities comparatively not doing anything not coming out of home just um, following the models of charity just uh, relying uh, on who will come and um, provide us the benefits uh, i was very much shocked and i tried to mobilize uh, the person with disabilities and ask them we have the rights under the disability act that was uh, existing at that time now it has been replaced by, by the rights of person with disabilities act now we have mental health act we have uh, rehabilitation council of india act we have uh, national trust act and i started um, educating people about the rights and the, these entitlements which we have under these laws uh, that was the um, major force uh, my own disability helped me to uh, say other people that we should work for our own betterment and we should not rely or we should not act as parasites and next i uh, got connection uh, with the national disability network and i saw people from various states doing a lot of job uh, doing uh, and showing the commitment towards the disability rights mm -hmm. and our leader at that time was javed abidi uh, who was running the ncpdp national center for promotion of employment for person with disabilities and i saw a different look in this um, in the man who was uh, only uh, telling that we should uh, we should implement the right uh, these acts uh, once we uh, um, succeeded in implementing rights of person with disabilities act in the other acts which are existing we can uh, see a holistic change in our country and he was the man who uh, put his efforts and uh, uh, accessible election campaign started mm -hmm. and uh, people were given voting rights and um, voting rights were there but the inclusive and accessible voting rights were not there some where the barriers were too high today election commission has a separate cell which is looking for the accessibility of in the elections uh, census was not done for exclusive for person with disabilities this time um, if since 2001 the census um, in a column came for disabled persons uh, counting in the census in 2001 and 2011 and uh, the column which was at the 14th uh, place or the um, uh, counting level now is at ninth uh, column so uh, things are moving uh, with with these initiatives i saw um, that people are there who have uh, taken the lead and i should also do that i should mm -hmm. also contribute in this uh, at a national level so uh, apart from this uh, a lot of things i saw that building codes got changed and and the um, DPW guidelines came for making buildings accessible. Uh, the uh, inclusive education concept got developed, and in national policy of education, a complete chapter has been. Uh, wrote about uh, written about the disability rights so when we incorporate these things at a policy level and when person with disabilities are will be included at the policy level um, the whole of the india will get accessible and person with disabilities will be as a uh, working as contributors and not the parasites so i um, uh, like this idea and i uh, i am working on it i am uh, completely believing in it uh, that is how i got chance to go forward so and we believe in you you are going to achieve it for sure thank you so uh, so the next question is uh, would you like to throw some light on your awards and recognitions that you have received in uh, so many years yes there are a lot of um, awards i can say on uh, 
uh, yes, I got a national award for the welfare of persons with disabilities in 2004, and uh, I got a state award for, uh, for uh, social reforms and empowerment in 2007 in the J and K, um, and I got. Uh, mm, Ability Foundation National Award for Eminence in 2009, and in 2016 I got um, uh, a place in the special edition of the Limca Book of Records, which was for persons with disabilities only, and um, and uh, uh, meantime I have got lot of um, these awards at international level and national level. Uh, which are for the disability rights only and uh, the um, empowerment of the person with disabilities for giving them employment for uh, starting educational activities and for overall development and uh, re- recently i got the padma shri award in 2020 oh. that was given at the rashtrapati bhavan uh, on 8th of november this year because of the covid it, the ceremony was deferred so these are the main awards for but so, i always think the awards for me are the students who were completely mm-hmm. dropped out and now they are at the college level they are my best awards and i i live with these awards and i hope that more awards will be added in terms of those students for sure more awards are going to be added in terms of students and in terms of more uh, awards also Sir, so are there any words of wisdom that you could drain upon us? Uh, words of wisdom are that there is a lot of work in this world. We have a, uh, we have come here with a lot of assignments. We should not think of the tunnel vision. We should have a very visionary ideas, and we should find out why we are in this world. we have lot of uh, work to do in the same connection uh, if uh, i would have not thought that um, this is my uh, uh, duty to see what i have i have seen what i have uh, gone through next no one should uh, go, go through it in the same way Uh, a lot of people can do a lot of things in their own areas uh, at least we can educate children at least we should uh, use something from our own uh, uh, what we uh, have we should contribute from this and that also uh, at a student level we are students and we contain education we should contribute from educational side we can educate to uh, orphan children to disabled children uh, to children who are not in a position to afford you know, the education because of one or other reason and in the same way uh, after we have lot of wealth we can contribute for giving a wheelchair to someone a book to someone and house to someone as per our uh, Uh, this capacity and capability we can contribute to this world in the end we have to go without any help wealth we whatever we have we have to leave it here and if we have a lot of land we have to uh, throw it here and go away so it is time we should contribute at every level and we whatever capacity we have we should contribute for the overall development of our country yes sir so i'm sure your words are gonna inspire many uh this video is gonna be uploaded on youtube and instagram so there are gonna be many views and it's gonna inspire a lot of people uh, so we have a token uh, for the time here for the, for the precious time that you have given us uh, we have a certificate for from dorai foundation that we would like to present to you thank you yes sir so so thank you so much for all your kind words and your time and energy that you've invested in us we are genuinely very grateful for this opportunity and uh, the lot of learnings to take back home today so yes. thank you so much sir thank you thank you for uh, giving uh, me the opportunity and uh, 
inviting me uh, i always like to contribute when people say to tell about disability or uh, say something for regarding disability i am available for it yes sir. so i am thank dora foundation ishika for you pursuing me a lot and <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much sir thank you so much for your time angel kishan you to uh, introduce me in a very conducive atmosphere i'm very thankful to you thank you, you are young young people you should go forward with yeah. this and you should uh, learn a lot from lot of people are doing good work you should hunt for them search for them and replicate these models whosoever is listening to us whosoever is um, seeing this video they should contribute they should do good things for disability sector for every sector it needs a yes. hero a person who is motivated to do something so uh, thank you a lot thanks a lot thank you so much thank sir. you so much so thank you so much have a great day thank you ishika